is going downhill in the document Kako or Kamal before it's no longer available. According to Wikipedia, Concord Mall opened in August 1972, anchored by Montgomery Ward and Robertsons. J.C. Penney was added as a third anchor in 1976. Robertsons closed and the space was eventually occupied by Mice and then Elder Beerman which was rebranded as Carson's in 2011. After Montgomery Ward closed, its building was sw split between Hobby Lobby, which opened in 2002, and ABC Warehouse. In 2008, a space vacated by Osco Drug and was renovated into a food court. On January 31st, 2018, Carson's parent company, Bonton, announced they would be closing the Concord location with 42 other stores. Carson's closed in 2018. For me, in the late 1980s and the early 1990s, Concord Mall was a fun place to hang out and spend time with your friends. There was a lot of shops and a lot of activities. Some of my favorite memories as a kid would be things like going in and throwing a penny in the fountain uh, in the middle of the mall. I remember they had a really awesome pet store. Uh, you go in and it'd have, you know, your normal birds and hamsters and so forth. And then you go into the back of the store and there would be all kinds of fish. And no one can forget Halloween. Every year they would have trick-or-treating in the mall. You would have lines of kids going store to store trick-or-treating. I was able to do that with my own kids for a couple years. Kids nowadays would not realize how much fun it would be for us to be dropped off at the mall uh, to hang out and then go to the payphone around the corner by the bathrooms and call your friends to come out and hang with you. Back then we didn't have cell phones like kids do nowadays. I'd like to hear some of your favorite memories uh, at Concord Mall and what stores you can remember there. Drop a comment about your favorite memory in the comments below. There used to be a water tower in the middle of that. Oh, that has been gone for a while. Is this place still empty? Carson's? Oh, no, I was talking about the Christian store. No, that floor was way before Carson's. I haven't been down this way because, first of all, I can't even afford Carson's. never afford to go. So 
Most of these places are no longer here. Let's have a pizza right here. Well, where all the teachers' credit union ain't even out there anymore. No, there is a pizza hut, but it's not in the mall. Oh, but it's a part of it. It's a part of the land. That, that um, building. Um, that pizza hut? I thought it closed No, down. you know that building behind the dental office that's on the corner? Yeah. That's empty all the time? That used to be a movie theater. We used to come and bring you guys here, go trick or treating. Um, yeah. There's nobody here. The last time we brought you guys out here, it was so busy. It took you two hours to just go through it. Oh, they're getting set up for the Easter Bunny. This used to be a jewelry store. Yeah. Well, I got a video of when you were little bringing out here for Easter events. Here's one of our favorite stores and I'm not gonna record it in there, so. Okay. We just talked to the girl in Spencer and she said that there are two or three stores planning on moving out this year and within the next year or so, they should be closing. JC Penny is gonna be the last one. They just put a Sephora in there, bro. Uh, they probably won't close. They'll probably be like uh, Sears did at Premier Mall where they make this an entrance or something. And, uh, then the rest of the building gets closed down. But the game shop, we're not going into any stores to record. Not today. But that used to be a be the best thing. Yeah, it used to be a game zone. This is my favorite store. I know that's a bad thing. I can't fit them no more. That red dress though. I know, ain't it cute? I like this red dress too. I got a tummy belly. We got you a few dresses here. This used to be a jewelry store. The girl in Spencer said Chance is uh, probably going to be moving out soon. I love Chance. I always think they're shoes. Ah, are really awesome shoes though. So you can't afford those. I don't want them. I don't want them. I just said they're awesome. They said Kay's was looking to move out too. This clears is where I got my cartilage pierced. I get my pierced. I might have got my ears pierced here too. GNC's already gone. Bookstore has been gone for quite a while. Oh, look. Okay, so that used to be the bouncy house place. No, this this right here when the I was house well. Yeah, for you. But when I was your age or younger, it used to be MS, MFC uh, restaurant, and there was two entrances here, and over there were the vocational part staffing, the staffing agency. Okay, so this is what we come for. We need some canvases if they have any, and they're going out of business. So we're going to close this and go in. This thing has been here forever. Louis Tuck's shop's been here forever. I don't remember what Hobby Lobby used to be when I was a kid. I don't remember. This used to be a Bowricks, I believe. No, 
know, I think this was the entrance to that restaurant. Not that one. I don't think I ever went to that restaurant. But I know my grandma and Joanne used to love going to it. I used to be back and body for a while. Let's get a pretzel. Let's see your pretzel. 